What is up everybody? I hope you're well. Today I'm going to do a really simple tutorial on how to do macro with any lens that you have. So this will work with kit lenses and prime lenses, anything. It works a little bit better with prime because you don't have to zoom. But um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So this lens can't focus really close, but when I flip it around, it can. You do get things that you can buy, which is like a, it's called a reverse ring adapter, which basically screws in the front here and then it can mount inside your camera, which is a bit better, but you don't need it for this. This is a good way if you don't have a macro lens on you to just flip the lens around, get an interesting shot and then carry on from there. Um, you also get a extension tubes which click in and then the lens clicks in and all that does is it makes the, the flange distance from your sensor a bit bigger and then that forces your camera to focus a bit further. Okay, so I'm going to show you, show you on these leads here. Okay, so this is, a, okay, this lens is actually pretty good. So that's as close as I can focus right now, right? Okay. If I go further, you'll see I can't. So I'm going to go back to where I can focus. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to detach this lens. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to hold it here. There we go. So now you can see how close I can get now. The only problem with this is because you are detaching the lens, you can't, you can't uh, use your autofocus. So what you want to do is keep your peaking on if you have peaking on your camera and just move it back and forth until you see what's in focus. The cool thing is because it's got a wide aperture, you get very, very blurry backgrounds. So I'm just going to do this on video as well. So I'm going to actually take a recording while I'm busy. So I'm going to switch to this now. So you can see what I'm filming. So I'm recording so you can see it on video. So that's the minimum focus on this lens, which is actually pretty good. So if I flip this around now. So now I'm started recording again. Now you can see how close I am. This is the same distance. If I go closer, you'll see what goes in focus. So if you want to get some dreamy macro shots, this will work for weddings and for anything. This works. With, this should work with any lens and all lenses should give you very different results. So you're going to cover this whole thing with a lens. If you happen to put it a little bit off center, it will actually still work. So if you get it a little bit off like this, you'll get a bit of a lens flare. So um, if you look at the recording, so if we move it a little bit off, you'll see I get a lens flare come in. See that? That's pretty cool as well. You can use this for an effect. So that's just a light leak basically, like a real light leak. So um, I just want to show you again. So when you when you put the lens in focus, what you got to do is just move the camera back or forward till what you want in focus to come into focus because you can't control that. So you will also struggle to get it super sharp because it's not supposed to do this, but it does work. It's actually very pretty. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, click the bell and um, keep the comments coming. We're really enjoying that. Remember, I'm giving away a camera. There's a video up about that. And uh, yeah, so for the rest of the video, it's just going to be music and some examples of, of photos of this. That's it. See you soon. Bye. Do you really?